Okay, we're now going to demonstrate the uh, OP1000. This is a die sub printer. We're using Darkroom Pro to uh, to demonstrate it. You can see here we've got a load of prints in here. In Darkroom, the OP1000 as a Windows printer. If you're using professional version of Darkroom, you can actually um, use it straight from uh, Darkroom Professional. The OP1000, very important note, is that it will only run under Windows Vista and Windows XP. It will not, I repeat, not run under Windows 7 unless you are using Darkroom Pro. Just want to demonstrate that it all works for you. Um, we'll go into the photo library, those of you familiar with it. We will print out one to one, two, three, six, seven photos. We've got it on quick print, so I'm just going to print one copy of each, and now you will see them all starting to come out. It's got six by nine media in there. We actually print out six by eights as a standard, so that's what it's going to print out. It will automatically cut it for you. While that's going on, you can see here the print. All looks absolutely fine. There's no real marks on them. As you can with some of the older die subs, you'll find the head plates, etc. But these are all looking absolutely fine. They're a little bit dark, they haven't been colour corrected, but hey ho. We're just going to come round while it's open and show you the serial number to make sure you're getting the same, one, same machine that you're using. As you can see, it's a fairly decently fast printer. Please further note that this doesn't come with any media attached to it. We'll be using the media on our other printers. If you want to get rid of the bleed here, that's easily done in darkroom. Probably should have done that before, but you're seeing it properly done. While you're recording there, I will just go into darkroom and adjust the bleed. I'll just print one. You can see the bleed's been reduced already. From those two, maybe add another 15 pixels and it'll be fine. I'm not going to waste any more paper though. If you just have a quick look at here, if I press the menu button, you'll see um, how many sheets are remaining, but as I say, you're not going to get any prints with this. It's printed 60,248 copies. It might have done a few more by the time you've got it, but not a lot more. Um, these things are like the old Volvos. They'll just keep on going and going as long as they're uh, uh, maintained properly. And there we go, that's the uh, OP1000 that we are uh, selling.